from Chiang Mai, and I'm here with Mark, uh, who's a web developer from. I'm from England. Very, very yeah, good, mate. So, sorry. Down in Southampton. And uh, how long have you been here in uh, Chiang Mai, Thailand? Oh, about three days now. Yeah, I'm in Thailand for about ten. Yeah, loving it. <laughs> very good. And so, have you made the shift? to be a digital nomad? Yeah, yeah, I was, um, I'm a machinist and engineer by trade. And um, I quit the job a few months ago and, and uh, took a plunge into web development. So it's something I've been doing for a long time, but finally turned a hobby into a, a business at last. Mm. Very good. So, mate, what's, what's the change of life been like? Uh, it's been insane. It's, um, yeah, it's a totally different world. And um, it's so much nicer over, <laughs> over it. It's so much warmer <laughs> and everything else. I'm loving it. Yeah, it's brilliant. Very good. So what's some of the challenges that you've had to overcome just in coming here? Oh, well, I've sold everything. I've sold a house. Um, I've had to sell my car. <laughs> I've stripped down everything I own. It's all in a garage somewhere in my friend's um, apartment. And um, yeah, so I've had to, it took me about two years to make the actual transition to Digital Nomads. So it's been a long journey, but we're finally here. <laughs> okay, so why did it take two years? What was it? Was it the selling the house or? Yeah, yeah, I'd sell a house, that took about a year. And then um, I brush up on some skills and make sure I was all ready for it sort of thing. Yeah. And then um, I wait for the right time, my work and, and everything else, so I can actually make the move. I also rented an apartment after I sold the house. So I wait for the lease to go and so it's been a long journey, but I finally got here. <laughs> Beautiful. And what about arriving here? What were some of the challenges when arriving here uh, around accommodation, maybe work or? When I arrived in Bangkok, I was staying in an area right on the outside. No one spoke English. So um, I had to learn a bit of Thai a bit quick to be able to eat, <laughs> get my clothes washed, that sort of thing. So um, yeah, straight in the deep end. But it was, it was brilliant. I enjoyed every minute of it. <laughs> it was good. Cool. So a real adventure, right? Yeah, exactly. I've never been outside of Europe before. So um, yeah, the whole, the whole trip alone is one massive adventure for me. <laughs> excellent. Excellent. Yeah. And what about in Chiang Mai? Where have you found a place to stay and what's that look like? Yeah, yeah, I, I got a hotel for three days. Um, I woke up on the second day in a bit of a panic because I had nowhere to, to live. Um, I got up at eight o'clock in the morning, ran out of the hotel, walked across the road. By nine o'clock, I had my own apartment. <laughs> it was that easy. <laughs> I was really surprised. <laughs> and so, has that set you back a lot? Like, is it costing a lot of money for that apartment or? It's, it's amazing, it's 143 pound a month. <laughs> it's, it's 10 times cheaper than my apartment back home, <laughs> literally. <laughs> okay, okay. So have you got many friends back home that are just wondering what the hell you're doing or? Yeah, yeah, I don't think they fully understand what I'm, what I'm up to. Um, they think I'm backpacking or traveling, but I don't think they understand exactly my ideas or, or why I'm here, you know, sort of the, the real reasons, you know. <laughs> so um, yeah, it, coming out all this way to, to bootstrap a business is, it's the way to go. Doing, doing it back home, I would probably only had two months um, financially to be able to do it. Because here, it gives me a lot more time and I, I can take my time and get it right, you know. So do you plan on doing client work or are you working on your own project? I've got um, a couple of clients I'm working with that I've, um, I arranged before I left England. So I knew I had a starting point. And then from there, I'm, I'm hoping to build it from there. Yeah, they put me in contact with different people, so it's, it's all good, yeah. Very good. Yeah. And what about... Um, uh, co-working spaces, have you sussed any of those out yet? Yeah, the, um, the, the idea was I had to go to Pun Space <laughs> because it was all over the internet and following Johnny's blog and everything else. So um, my apartment and my hotel was walking distance from Pun Space. So that's, that's been my first, uh, my first mission. I signed up within an hour of getting off the train. <laughs> so yeah, before I even checked into my hotel. <laughs> Fantastic. And I, I, you know, obviously you're still in the honeymoon phase, so you have where to from here? Have you got any idea how long you're going to be doing this for? Um, I'm hoping to go for at least a year um, to test, test the water sort of thing, have a proper good look. But when I leave Chiang Mai, I'm flying down to the islands for a month and then um, and I'll be back, back to Chiang Mai after that. <laughs> so yeah. So when are you going to the islands? Um, about 30 days time. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to pop down to Koh Lanta and, and check, out, check out that side of Thailand. Yeah, and then on to Bali for a couple of weeks and back here. Beautiful. Yeah. What an adventure, mate. It certainly is. I'm loving it. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, thank you so much uh, for taking the time to meet with us, mate. No worries. And uh, best of luck. And hey, we might see you tomorrow. Yeah, at the, at the summit, obviously. Oh, yeah. <laughs> thanks a lot. Cheers. Cheers, mate. Plenty more interviews coming to you live on facebook.com forward slash Beach City Live. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Just search for Beach City. Cheers.